All right, we see a woman today with some gold hair and looks like the modern world to me. Has a little red half mobile strip thingy. I'll just call it the red mobile strip half. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. This photo, this photo was taken in the 20th century, not the 21st century. It was taken on 1992. So if you ever thought of it having been done by then, well, you have some wrong ideas. Who is this woman? Well, if she'd technically be famous and have her own Wikipedia page or else I wouldn't even be talking about her. But for now, I will be talking about Mary Fisher. Her real name is Elizabeth Davis Freeling. Mary Fisher. Let's get started. Mary Fisher, Mary Fisher. Let's get started. All right, let's dive into today's video. Mary Fisher was born on <clears throat> April 6th of 1948. Here, I'll write it down for you. April 6th of 1948. And that was when she was born. So let's just get started on what she actually looked like. This is probably what she looked like. This is one of the photographs I could take of her. And her real name was actually <coughs> Elizabeth Davies Freling, as I already explained at the beginning of the video. And she was born in Louisville of Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Remember that. It's probably going to be on, I don't know, a test about Mary Fisher. So let's get on with this. As an education, she went to the Kingswood College. Nowadays, nowadays it's renamed to Cranbrook Kingswood College. Hey, three words. And she was also part of the volunteer of the ABC News Channel. At least that's what Wikipedia told me. And also, she served as one of the staff members of Gerald Ford, one of the president of the United States of America. Okay, I think we're speeding up too fast here, so let's just get in some of the slow down. Let's just slow down. There was a lot that seemed to happen at the time, during that time. In fact, oh, come on, let's just get into the notes. If it will let me. Yes, it will let me into the notes. So, let's just get started in the notes. Now... Let's just enter one of her love life. She actually went into her first marriage. The Wikipedia page didn't really tell me what it was, who she was, but it ended up in divorce. And well, however, and then she actually had a second marriage with a guy named Brian Campbell. When I searched them up, when I searched them up on Wikipedia, it gave me, it gave me results on a ice hockey player. So it's not that guy. He was actually an artist, so search up his middle name or just go on to Wikipedia and f try to find a Wikipedia page of Brian Campbell, at least. The the Brian Campbell, the spouse of Mary, of Mary Fisher. They were both artists, and uh, Mary Fisher was a book writer. Oh. So how did this all work out for them? It didn't really work out well. It turned out that Mary Fisher's husband, Brian, got HIV. Now, I'll do a separate video on HIV. And so, let's just get started. Let's just go on a brief term of what HIV is. HIV is a virus that, instead of attacking normal red blood cells, instead of attacking normal red blood cells, it attacks white blood cells. So this is what it does. The virus itself doesn't do much. 
it's smaller than that yeah it's about this size and then instead of doing so it wins instead of attacking this guy it attacks this guy mainly oh mainly guys called helper t cells and they're a very vital important role of the immune system and they and these are one of the best things ever that I could even talk about if I really do want to talk about something about HIV, which I'll do a completely different video on. Now, the infected virus here, it's kind of bad. So there's a lot of things that's going to happen and I don't think any of them is going to be good. The infected cell has to be eliminated and that's where other cells come. And they just eliminate it. And just in case, and this is what happens. Once there is a wound, HIV basically just kills off the white blood cells. Pew, pew. Which makes it more prone to infections. But that was very brief movement. So let's just get on back to Mary Fisher. Mary Fisher. Yes. They went on to a divorce. Brian Campbell and Mary started having a little divorce. They filed out for divorce and then they found out that Mary had HIV AIDS in 1999. She found out that it was because of her husband that she got a positive code on AIDS. However, luckily their children got well, was presumed negative on AIDS. Well, that's kind of, that's sort of similar to what we were experiencing in the COVID-19 pandemic. Haven't you noticed? And now let's talk about her speeches. Yay, we get to exit the notes, finally. Now this is the photo I used from the beginning of the video. At least it's from the same TV channel. It's the one by CNN. This is the one by CNN, and it's kind of awesome for a lot of reasons. This speech that she gave was called A Whisper of AIDS. I'll explain what AIDS is in the AIDS video. And in here, she talks about her little commotion, actually her huge commotion, with AIDS and what she is doing to it and explains a lot about AIDS. In fact, this speech was so good to the Republican Party that it is ranked number 50 in the American rhetoric speeches out of the number one, out of the 100 speeches possible. And I am going to make a video. I'm going to try to do that speech on this channel. So wait for it and wait for the announcement. Well, all's good that ends well. Great. So her speech is over. Now what? I mean, it's ranked number 50. Let's talk about a bit of her art. Her art has been doing a lot of work nowadays. I mean, there's a lot of them. A lot of the collectors of her artworks include the President of the United States, George H.W. Bush, and his wife. And there was nothing about his son, however, collecting her art. Her art. It was also collected by Gerald Ford, another president of the United States, who she served for at, during her time as the staff for the, for the president of the United States of America. Some of her sculptures are shown in Geneva, Switzerland at the UN AIDS. Here's a pic. Here, uh, okay, we'll talk about that later. Uh, at the UN AIDS headquarters. Yeah, kind of good. And she's also an author, and recently, in 2012, she published a book called Messenger, a self-portrait. I haven't read the book, actually, I don't even have the book at home, but I think it's a good way to understand how everything seemed to be like during her day. I mean, I'm not sure what the book is about, so you'll have to find out by reading it. And to this day, she is still doing a lot of AIDS activism. She's still come currently active uh, but with AIDS. She is an artist and a writer by her profession, but she is still an AIDS activist too. So, 
What do you guys think of the life of Mary Fisher? I want to hear your comments on this video and the life of Mary Fisher. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys did enjoy this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shanan out. Peace. Yes, bring in the cat. Yay! The cat is here with red eyes. See you guys next time. Shout out. Peace.